Good day. Um, this is Yoga Fit. My name is Stephanie. We're going to start lying on our backs. In Yoga Fit today, if you happen to have at home a light weights, one, twos, or threes, no, probably no more than fours, um, and a small Pilates ball, that's all you'll need for today's class. If you're lying on your back, you're going to have your arms by your sides and your knees bent. Feet on the floor, about hip width distance apart. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. Deep breath in. And exhale out. You're going to gently press your lower back towards the mat. Try to only use your abs to do this. Relax your legs and relax your tush. I've got maybe about 30% activation in my core right now. So it's not your you know, strongest uh, core work here. It's just enough to try to lengthen out the lower back and fire up the abs. And then relax. Notice how the pelvis tilts. Again, gently pressing the lower back, flattening it out, and then relax your legs. Maybe even shake them a little bit. Make sure your legs are relaxed, your hands are relaxed. And then squeeze just a little bit more through the abs. See if you can keep your shoulders relaxed as well. It's really hard to just work the core taking the legs and the hips and the arms and shoulders out. And then relax everything. I'm gonna try that again. Gently press the lower back into the mat, legs, hips relax, and then take the tension out of the shoulders, relax the arms. Push a little harder with the abs, create a little bit more tension. And still come back to your neck and shoulders. Relax. Completely let go of the ab work. This time, pressing your lower back into the mat. Draw your knees into your chest. Go ahead and wrap your arms on top of your legs. Feet are side by side. Feel the back of your head on the mat so you've got as straight a spine as possible. Both legs will go straight up into the air best you can. We're going to point and flex your feet. You can keep a micro bend in your knees. Happy baby, you're going to bend the knees wide, avoid your ribs, and grab a hold of the outside edge of your feet. Relax your shoulders and arms. Placing your feet wide on the mat, windshield wiper the legs from side to side. You're going to roll to the right and roll to the left. Finishing out your, your sides, heel toe your feet back together. We're going to lift the hips up into bridge. So bring your feet a little closer towards your hips. Arms will be down by your sides. Use the core first. Press the lower back into the mat. And now press into your feet, lifting your hips. So I do not have to go high as I'd like you to keep a little core engagement here. Still feel the neck get longer. Getting more stretch there. Slowly lower back down. Cross the right ankle over the left knee for figure four, pure form is stretch. Option to draw the knees into the chest. Place the feet back down. We're gonna do another bridge. 
or first. Press the lower back, tighten the glutes, press into your legs, feet, lift them up. Get a stretch in the neck. And slowly lower down. Left ankle, pure form is stretched, crossing it over the knee and open. Option to draw both knees in. And release. Both legs are gonna go straight, flat on the floor. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, tighten up the bum. And release. Squeeze, tighten. And release. Squeeze, tighten. And release. Squeeze, tighten. And release. Squeeze, tighten. Release, squeeze, tighten, release, and squeeze, tighten, release. Relax your legs. You're going to bend at your elbows. You're going to press the back of the arms into the mat. Now I want you to focus on your upper back, the muscles between your shoulder blades. You're going to press and hold that squeeze. And once again, I'm pressing about 40%. I'm tightening up between my shoulder blades, my upper back muscles, and holding this and relax. Again, pressing the back of the arm elbow area into the mat. You're gonna feel your chest lift up a little bit. Try to keep your head down, hips are down. And relax. Press. And relax. Press. And relax. Press. And relax. Your arms, point them straight up towards the ceiling and touch your fingertips together. Flex your feet, tighten up the thighs. You're gonna bring these arms up over your head towards your ears. Try to keep the arms straight. Now, it's okay if they don't get there. You're gonna stop when you feel there's a stop, a resistance point. Holding here, keeping the feet flexed. You might even notice that your belly button is coming in. That's good. Bring the arms back up towards the ceiling. Open to a T. Arms come open, but really reach like you're trying to touch the walls. You're going to hover these arms over the mat. Bring them back up. Touch the fingertips together. Bring them up over towards your ears. Where they stop is where they stop. Arms stay straight. And then bring them back up. Open to a T, but keep them hovering over the floor. Bring them back up. Over the head one more time. And back up to the ceiling, open to a T. Palms are up. Point your toes. Lift your head, look for your toes. Arms are still out. Lower your head and shoulders back down, draw the right knee into the chest, grab a hold either onto the hamstring or onto the shin and pull in firm. and change. Bring both knees in. We're gonna rock and roll forward and back on the spine till we come to seated. So if it just takes one time, just roll up to seated. Otherwise, roll a couple of times so you make your way up. You're gonna sit in Sukhasana, easy seat, best you can, cross leg. You're gonna hold on to your shin knee area and gently lean back, getting a little stretch through the neck. Chin to chest. And then come on up to seated. Sit all the way up on your sitting bones. And you're gonna to turn to your right, bring the right hand behind, left hand to your right knee, creating a small twist. And change other side.
Coming back to center, fold down. And slowly make your way to see legs go straight. Sitting up tall, belly in, flat back. You're gonna reach the right arm forward and up towards the ceiling as high as you can go. Try not to lean back and try not to round the spine. Stay up tall and then lower down. Left arm. And lower down, O bars. And lower down. Again, right arm. Lower down. Left arm. Lower down. Both arms. And lower down. Gonna reach the arms forward. We're gonna round the spine. We're gonna lower down till our ribs touch. Then you're gonna come right back up. So you're gonna tap down to the bottom rib touches and see if you can come back up. Now I need to use my hands. I'm not quite there yet, but if you come back up with no assistance, that is awesome. I use a little bit of weights to help mine. So if you're having difficulty like I do, putting weights in your hands, reaching those forward actually will make it easier for you to come up. You can also bend the knees a little bit. That might make a difference as well. Let's see how many we can do. Not 30 though, okay? <laughs> One, <laughs> not 30, not this day, this is two. Let's just do five. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Three. Four. And five. Reverse tabletop. Your hands are going to come back behind you. You're going to bend your knees. You're going to lift your hips up high. You can keep looking forward if you so choose. You do not have to look up or back. Lower the hips down. Boat pose, Navasana. Lift those legs up, arms up, best you can. Balancing on that sweet spot between your sitting bones and your tailbone. Legs can be bent or they can be straight. Reverse tabletop. And lower back down. Boat pose. Reverse tabletop. And boat pose. Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of the feet together and sit up tall and gently fold over the legs. Just a little bit, not too deep. Seated windshield wipers. So that means you're gonna sit, you're gonna bring your feet wide off the mat. Sitting up tall, you're gonna roll to one side, creating a little twist, bringing the knees down into a 90-90 and then slowly roll and twist to the other side. Now you can put your hands down and you can lean back if you're really having difficulty with this, okay? But the more you're upright, the harder it is because it requires more hip mobility and strength and flexibility and core strength. When you reach the top of your mat, you're done. <laughs> We've, I keep creeping closer and closer to the top. Oh no, I've run out of my way. So that means we're gonna to go to hands and knees. So go ahead and flip yourself around. All right, start with cat and cow. So we're going to relax the belly. Take the gaze forward, inhale, and then exhale round the spine, full belly in, chin to chest. Let's get that breath work moving here for us. Inhale, 
and exhale, pull it in strong. Yes, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Downward facing dog, lifting your hips up high. Put a softness into the knees. In your down dog, you always wanna feel like your fingers are spread wide and you are gripping the mat, especially with the thumb and the first and middle finger. Your arms are straight and strong, but not locked out. Relax your neck, allow your head to hang. You also wanna pull your belly button in about 20, 30%. The softness in the knees is important because the first thing you want to ac accomplish is a flat back. Think a straight line from your fingers all the way up the spine to your tailbone. Then from there, you can start to straighten out the legs. Heels can stay lifted, but you can also get a little bit more by starting to lower them down. Just don't overstretch. Overstretching causes injury. Slowly come down onto your knees, child's pose. In this child's pose, I'm gonna invite you to bring your elbows down so you can lift your hands and circle the wrists. Let's Sunday salutation. Here we go, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, pressing your hips up and back. Exhale, walk your feet forward towards your hands. Swap back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Rise to stand, reach the arms to the sky, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Plank pose, top of a push up, strong fingers, strong arms, inhale. We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly, come down to the knees. Bend the elbows back towards your ribs, exhale. Low baby cobra, lift just your head and your shoulders, no arm strength, and lower your head back down, exhale. Child's pose, pressing yourself up and sit the hips back towards your heels. This time allow your forehead to rest onto the mat best you can and reach the arms forward and straight and long, get a stretch through the shoulders. One more sun ace salutation, just like that. Downward facing dog. Here we go. Take a deep breath in as you press your hips up and back. Exhale, walk or hop your feet forward to your hands. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise, root, root through those feet. Push hard through the leg, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Length pose, top of a push up, inhale, lower down to your belly, exhale. Cobra, little one, inhale, lower head down, exhale. Child's pose, press yourself up, keep the arms nice and long, bring the forehead to touch the mat. Reach them a little bit longer, inching the fingers closer and closer to the top of the mat. Make your way to hands and knees. So hands and knees, tabletop position. You're gonna come down onto the forearms. We're gonna lift the right leg into the air. So extend it, strong core. You're gonna try not to let your upper body move at all. And you're gonna lift your leg as high as you can without a back bend. Then tap the toe back down to the mat. That was one. Exhale when you lift, inhale two. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, here we go. Exhale five, six, seven, 
And last one for eight. Change sides. All righty, left leg extends, toe on the floor. You can rest your head, strong core, lift the leg. Don't create a back bend, tap it one. Lift, two, you're exhaling, breathing out, working the abs. Are we on four? What number, guys? Five, good. Six, no control. Seven, really give me good breath work here. Really exhale. Like that on eight, nice job. Take a child's pose. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands. Hands are going to move backwards to your feet. Let your heels come down. Walk your hands forward to plank. Oh my gosh, you thought you were going to get up, didn't you? Walk your hands backwards to your feet. So you are walking inchworm. Walk the hands forward to plank. I know. I am so me. Walk the hands backwards to your toes. Walk the hands forward to plank. Come down onto your right knee. Bird dog, left leg lift, right arm reach. Plank. Walk your hands back to your toes. Walk your hands forward. Plank. Bring your left knee down. Bird dog. Your right leg lifts, left arm lift. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Plank. Walk your hands backwards to your toes. Toes are going to come together. Knees are going to come together. You know what it is. Somebody tell me, what are we doing next? Chair pose. Yes. Utkatasana. Woo. Bring the hands back by your hips. Lift up towards the ceiling, creating a long neck, really reaching back and up. Rise to stand, reach the arms up overhead, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Nice, plank, walk it out. Let's do a chaturanga now. I think we are about ready. So in chaturanga, you can bring your knees down. What you're, what's happening here is you're gonna bend the elbows back tight near your ribs, shifting forward, creating a 90 degree angle. And then moving into your cobra or upward facing dog as you inhale. Down dog, as you exhale. Woo! All right, guys, right leg lifted up so high that you open your hip and bend your right knee. I want you to feel equal weight in your hands. Step forward, warrior one. So I like to lift my the, the bottom, if you have trouble with this, guys, this is a trick. You're going to lift up this uh, right hand so you can try to step right underneath where that hand was, okay? So try that next time when you step forward. Bend the back heel down and rise. Woo. So you're going to take your right arm in a giant circle. It's going to come forward down by your hip. You're going to turn open and look behind you and up to the ceiling. Oh, man. Now the left arm. It's going to reach forward, down, turn open, look behind you. Yes, yes, yes. And up. Let's go. Right arm again. Down. You turn, look behind you. Yes, yes, yes. And bring it up. Left arm down behind. Look behind. And up. That's number two. All the way. One more. 
right arm, nice slow control. And just so you know, we will be doing this with weights. So decide for yourself if that's going to be an option you're going to take. Take a deep breath in. Let's go through our vinyasa. Exhale as you bring your hands down to the mat. Plank. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale, low plank. Cobra, Bhujangasana, or upward facing dog with your legs off the floor. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Left leg, lifting up high, open the hip. And that way you can bend the knee, bringing the heel towards the hip. And then double check your hands, even pressure. Breathe. Now we're gonna step forward. Remember we got a little, gotta make a little tent with our fingers here, lifting up the palm of the left hand. And you're gonna try to step that left foot right where that left hand was and then bring your right heel down. Rise up. Right left arm starts, you go forward, down by the hip, turn open and come up. Right arm, down, turn open, yep. Make a good twist here. Really turn through the torso, that's half of the battle. You work in this core as well as the arm, I think we have one more to go. Each side, nice, slow control. I know it. Take a deep breath in. Hands come down to the mat. Exhale. Stepping back, plank. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Walk your hands backwards to your toes. Toes touch, knees touch. Utkatasana, chair pose. I'm a rhymer. I'm a rhymer. All right, we're going to bring the arms forward. Now, we're going to circle again. Right arm is going to come back by the hip. Turn open like you're a swimmer, looking up for the ceiling, and bring it arm forward. Left arm sweeps back, twisting open. Yes. That is one set. Right arm. Yes. Make sure you're breathing. Doing whichever breath work works best for you. Nice steady breath. Last side. Last rep. Three on the side. Stand all the way up. Reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers. Side bend. Tighten the thighs, tighten your glutes, belly in. Reach up and over to your right. Come through center and change. Coming back to center, bring the hands to your hips, slight back bend, pushing the hips forward, stretching through the shoulders. Forward fold, exhale. Walk the hands out to plank. We're doing plank side plank next. Now you can come onto your forearms or stay up on your hands. When you do your side plank, I'm going to advise since you have no shoes on, that you separate your feet so that you can spin both heels over to the right and you're getting both feet on the mat. The left arm best you can in the air. You can modify by bringing a knee down. You can also do this on forearms. Plank, rolling through the center, switching to the other side, heels go to the left, right arm to the sky. Coming back to center, I'm on to the belly all the way. All right, we are going to do the swan dive, optional weights. So you can grab your weights, light weights, you can bring them back by your hips. You want to have your neck long with a little bit of a chin tuck. You can keep your head lifted, but you can also keep your forehead on the ground if that feels better to you. I like to lift. I like to try to work all the muscles I can. So we're going to lift the legs and everything as high as we can. Balance on your 
belly and hip bones. Here we go. Lift it up. Now just take notice if your palms are down or palms are up, it doesn't matter. Just lift and hold. So we're going to flip the hands the other way anyway. And lower down. Nice job. You're going to flip the hands the opposite way. So my palms are down. So now I'm going to turn them up. Let's go again. Lift. And lower down. Nice job. You're going to bend the elbows. So you can bring the weights near the top of your mat. Now you're going to let your weights go. Reach forward for Superman. Lifting. Oh my God, so much easier. And then sweep the hands back. You're going to bend both knees and reach back like you're going to grab them, but you're not. You're going to bend the knees like you're going to touch your feet. And then straighten the legs. Reach the arms forward. Oh my God. <sighs> Superman to swan dive, bent knees like you're going to touch <laughs> and reach it forward again. Not the easiest. Bend and reach. Yes, like you're touching your heels, but don't. And one more time. Oh my goodness. Woo. And take rest. Child's pose with your knees together and touching. What that will do is it will counter the back bending we just did. Your QL muscles will get a nice stretch, which is basically your lower back. We are also going to do a side stretch from here. So lift your head and walk your hands over to the right. Reach the left arm long. Feel it stretch really long and strong. Should feel a good stretch through the left shoulder blade, left shoulder, maybe through the rib cage. Maybe in the left lower back. And then change, other side. All right, so here's the plan. The plan is we're going to go back to doing the swimmer arms in Warrior One. Optional weights here. All right, so downward facing dog. Right leg, you're going to lift it high, open, bend the knee, stack the hip, step forward, warrior one. Here you can grab your weights, so you so choose. Now, instead of starting with the weights up, we're going to bring the arms forward. You're going to do your swimmer. The right arm's going to come by your hip. You're going to turn open. You can put a little bend in the arm as you bring it up. Now, if you need to bend it a lot, bend it a lot and bring it up like you're doing a swimming stroke with the elbow bent. But if you've got strong shoulders, really root through it, micro bend that elbow and bring it forward. Now the left, strong core. You see that core has to really work. So does your shoulder. Yes, that's one. We're only gonna do two on the side as this is really intense. Unless you've got one pound waist and it's maybe not as intense but the heavier your weight, you can see how hard this is. All right, from here, we're going to take the weights up over the head, bend at the elbows, hold here. Now you're going to shift your weight onto your right foot so that you can just touch that left toe. Now, you can keep the left toe down or lift it, but here's what you're doing. We're going to breathe in deep. On the exhale, all you're going to do is pull your belly in. So I'm not doing anything with my arms. My arms are just hanging out there for a stretch. Inhale, exhale, tightening the abs like you're doing a crunch sit up, but there's no crunch sit up. You can also do this by balancing. Inhale, exhale, feel the abs work. So really the only thing you're focusing on, ab pull in tight. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Nice job, release. Woo. Okay, you're gonna put your weights down onto your mat. We're gonna flow through vinyasa. So hands down, step back. Chaturanga, modify if you shall need. Cobra, down dog. Left side, lifting that leg. Oh, <laughs> I know. I have to do the other side too. I know, so sad. And step forward, warrior. Yes. 
Grab your weights. All right. So once you're up, arms come forward. You're going to start with the left arm. Bring it back. You can bend at that elbow. Circle. Just remember, really tighten up your core here. That's one. I'm going to do the right arm. That's one. Now we got one more set to go. Strong, strong core. Feel it work. Don't be in a hurry. We only got one more to go. Last side. Mm-hmm. All right. Shift forward. Touching that toe. We're balancing. You're going to take the weights up over the head and bend at the elbows like you're doing a tricep press, but you're just letting them hang and stretch. You can keep the toe down or lift. Remember, the focus is breathe in deep, contract your abs, and breathe out hard. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Nice job. Woo! Malasana squat yogi sit. So keep your weights right in your heart space. You're going to turn your toes out a little bit. You're going to bend the knees, come down as low as you possibly can. If you need to put the weights down when you get down there, please do. Your heels can come up. So if you need your heels up and you need your hands down, it might look like this. That's okay. From here, we're going to stand all the way back up, push the weights up over the head. Go, push. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. Woo! All right, let's do a wide-legged forward fold. So turn towards the TV. You're gonna open your legs wide. Now you have the option to put the weights down. You can bring them down like this. You can also do with the T for Tom, okay? So inhale, legs straight, flat back, forward fold. Hinge at the hips. When you need, you put a bend in those knees. Otherwise, legs stay straight. Once you get down, put the weights down. Hands come down, slowing down. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Allow yourself to get a little deeper. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Widen your stance as we're going to move into skandasanas. Skandasana is nothing more than a deep side lunge. So you're going to walk your hands over towards your right foot. You're going to turn the toe out. Your left toe is going to go up towards the ceiling and your left leg stays straight. You're going to bend that right knee and come down low, getting a stretch in the inner thigh. And then change. Walk your hands. Toe goes up, knee goes up, the right foot, and come down low. One more time to each side. I feel a little bit like a ninja here. Crouching dragon, and come back to center, wide-legged forward fold. You can shorten your stance here. Relax your neck using this as a decompression for the spine, for your neck. Nice job. You're gonna make your way to seated. Okay, next up is flip dog. Special request and dedication. All right, so we're going to do it seated, and we're going to do it from the down dog, and then we'll be pretty much out of time. So this is our final stretch and strengthen. So you're going to bring your feet about hip-width distance, maybe a little bit wider. Knees are going to stay apart, 
The first thing you're going to do is bring your right hand behind you with the fingers facing away, not inward, away. And you lean back a little bit. Now you want to feel strong in the arm and strong in the feet. So you're going to lift your butt up like you're doing a bridge. You're going to lift up and reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. This may be it for you. But if you can do more, as you reach the left arm over by your ear and towards your head area, you're going to take it more into a back bend by pushing harder into your feet, lifting your hips higher, and then maybe even turning and looking at the wall behind you. And then slowly release. Strong shoulders. Other side. Left hand comes back. Strong legs. Arm goes up. Strong push, lift. And then slowly progress. Control the arm over your ear towards the back of the room. And then maybe eventually look behind you. And then slowly come down. Nice job. Have a seat. So if you want to leg straight or legs bent, I'm going to show you right quick how to do it from a down dog. There's different variations, but I'll show you the way that I find this the easiest. And then you can do, do it the best way for yourself. Or you can just do this one again without the down dog. So from your down dog, you're going to bring your feet together. And when we start with the right leg, you know, we always start with the right leg up. I like to bring my left foot to my right. Then I'm going to lift the right leg up. Open that hip, bend the knee, just like we've done. From here, I'm going to soften this knee, and I'm going to bring my right foot, one up here, that one. I'm going to bring it next to my left and spin on the balls of my feet. So I'm landing, basically, in the position we started. Right? And then, but I'm not going to lower, I'm going to keep up, and then I'm going to go into it from here. And then you'll lower the hips. Come back, spinning on the left foot. I'm going to pull it in, coming back to my down dog, like so. And then other side, I'll pull my right foot in, bring my feet together. Left leg will lift, bending at the knee. Soften this leg. It's going to help. Spinning, just like you kind of would on a side plank spin. Heels come. Hips high. Reach. Back bend. Come back out, spin, get the foot planted, back to your down dog, and so on, so forth. Ta-da! Okay, your turn. I get a watch. I'm gonna call it out. So from downward facing dog. So from from your downward facing dog. So. You're going to bring your left foot, slide it over to your right to bring your toes together. Lift the right leg into the air, really high, open the hip, bend the knee. Now soften your left knee and bring your right foot behind and level parallel to the left. Spin the heels around, keep your hips low. Then lift your hips up and reach. And <laughs> the leg comes down. Yes, and then you got to bend your knees and you got to swivel your toes around to face the opposite way. And then you're going to swivel back out by lowering your hips, swivel on your feet, and right leg up. Oh my gosh, she's right. I do that. I have a tendency of doing that. Okay, and then let's go to the other side. So we're going to bring the right foot over to the left, bringing it closer there. And then the left leg is going to come up. Open the hip, bend the knee. Now remember, soften the standing leg, and you're going to bring that foot down. Before I even lift my hands up, I've got both feet down. You're going to then swivel the heels, feel like you're in bridge, but a little sideways, and then lift. Then to come out, you want to lower your hips back down enough so that you can swivel onto your feet, getting your foot back into a downward dog position. And there you are. You want to see it the long way? Why, certainly. All right, long ways. All right, here we go. So you're in your down dog. We're going to lift that right leg, right? So what we got to make space. So you're going to pull your left leg over to your right. That's closing your feet together. 
right leg's gonna lift high, open the hip. Then you're gonna soften your left knee and you're gonna bring your right foot behind. See where it's landed? I'm crossed, my knees are bent. Then I'm gonna swivel on the balls of my feet and that's gonna land me in this seated bridge position that we started in. And then you lift your hips up, then you lower your hips back down a little bit so you can unswivel on the ball of the foot, yes. So on the ball of your foot, right leg up in the air, right leg up, right leg up, yes. And now you come back down. Nice. Good, you did it, you did it. Other side. So you bring your right foot in, left foot up, you know, open, bend the knee, and then you're gonna bend the knees, bring that left foot behind, swivel on the balls of the feet, lift your hips up, back bend and then release a little bit out of that by bending the knees letting the hips come down and then you're going to turn your feet turn your feet to get that right foot back forward and lift your left leg back in the air for your three-legged dog then from there we normally step forward into a warrior or high crescent or something like that all right guys come to seated shake out those wrists shake out circle out oh that was so much fun I hope you guys at home enjoyed it as well. <laughs> All right, sitting up tall. Woo. Shoulder rolls. Ah. Tip the head side to side, crack it up. Crack, 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 crack. All right, guys, I think that's it for our class today. It was a pleasure having you again. Please be sure if you're going back north that you look online for the on-demand because I do this and you can do it now at your pace, your speed, and um, your time. Do it at your own time.